with the National Construction Code 2022 coming into effect in most of Australia, builders need to address a few issues including air tightness and moisture management. Today, we are going to talk about how you can address those issues with minimal change to the way how you build. So Joey, what exactly is changing in the NCC? Well, there are two main changes that is related to efficiency matrix expertise in air tightness and moisture management. Number one, since NCC 2019, the verification method of doing a blower door test to verify whether or not your home is tight sealed has been introduced and it's been carried on in Construction Code 2022. The other major change for this version of construction code is the introduction of moisture management in terms of vapor permeable sucking and the continuous waterproofing on your building external envelope. Okay, so moving straight into this, we've really been setting our sights on some of the weaknesses with the continuation of an air barrier on the outside. Let's go through the two points where the weaknesses are in mainstream construction here in Australia. To address the issue of air tightness, one of the simplest change from the conventional way of laying the sucking is to replace the sucking product to a vapor permeable in Victoria class 4 membrane. After replacing the membrane, the tray is expected to seal the junction between the membrane. In the old days, they just need to be overlapped for 150. Now, if we want to address the air tightness requirement with just one layer of the product, we need to seal them. And there are a few different ways to seal the product. For this Proctor product, it's designed to have an integrated adhesive to the product itself. It is very simple. All you need to do is to peel off the release liner and then attach the two layers. The beautiful thing about this is from our inspection experience, a lot of the time the tray still are um, new to applying tape on wrap without firm support. A lot of the time they couldn't apply and adhere the tape properly to create a nice seal. The integrated tape already factory pre-made to stick on the wrap so it will be an adhesive on adhesive seal instead of you need to put the tape onto a non-adhesive surface. The chance of success is greatly enhanced. Outside of that, the conventional way to build, we always face two weaknesses. Number one is the top, how we um, try to bring this air barrier to the roof or the ceiling construction. Because in the past, the conventional way to build is you have a wall weather protective barrier which stops water coming in and a layer for the roof. They have not been connected in the past. But now, because we need to address the requirement on air tightness, we need to somehow join the two layers together. And we need to create some kind of a bridge to come across. But it is not easy because one of the major issues to stop us from putting a wrap to go across your roof framing is the sequencing. And also, if we just put a starter strip, which is very common practice for passive house construction, is the tray building conventional home. They don't have the experience and the coordination required by craning down your roof truss onto the wrap can easily damage the wrap product. So efficiency matrix introduced a product called the tight bridge, which is a very heavy duty plastic product that can resist a lot of punishment. Now it's also UV stabilized, it's a recycled product and it's made here in Australia. Yes, and because of the size, the area it covers is so small, so the vapor permeable requirement doesn't really 
apply to this kind of a bridging product. Yep, and it's bridging to a vapor barrier on the inside anyway. Yep. Outside of the top, now we come to the bottom, which is a lack of a better expression, a whole can of worms. So it's a really complicated thing. There's a lot going on at the bottom of walls to try and deal with moisture and water runoff. Typically, in a lot of suburbs area, especially when they have potential termite issue, we need to introduce a layer of termite barrier to start with. Then, how are we going to create a seal to bring it to the wall? Has been a very challenging question the tray needs to address. Now, we introduce a different system to build into it. It's very simple. We first introduce a product which is called a tight plate. It's a foam gasket. You simply staple it onto your bottom plate before you fix it onto your slab. We get an air tightness here with the concrete to the slab and that can handle a, an imperfection in the slab of you know between two or three mil. And then the back, this actually is what gives us a bit of an overlap for a connection to a rigid material that doubles up as a material that we can use to apply tapes to at the bottom of the wall junction too, right? Yes, as you can see in this model, we introduce a short length of an OSB board which provide a compression to this gasket product to maintain the airtight seal. And then the bricky can do their dam proof course as normal. Yep. Wrap can be come down and then seal to this layer. Then we got a continuous air barrier coming up. There's potentially a little bit of um, surface area open to a six mil OSB board, which may leak a little bit, but in the scheme of things is insignificant. Yep. And then from that, we've got a connection from the ISB board to the wrap, which then goes up the wall to the tight bridge. Yep, the and bridge. then from the tight bridge, we transfer the air barrier to the inside and we can carry on with a ceiling mounted wrap. Now that also opens the door for some sequencing changes that will need to occur uh, with regards to putting in insulation and also electrical and plumbing services. Yes, we need a bit of coordination between the wrap installer for the ceiling wrap and the plumber and sparkies so they can come in at the right time because conventionally all the services would run their pipes and cables before the insulation installer comes in and install any of the insulation. But in this case, we need to install the wrap, the ceiling wrap, before they introduce any cables or pipe above the ceiling. And all the cables will be inside the conditioned space, right, with this change? Yes, cable inside the, the conditioned space. Some of the pipe may be outside and have a penetration coming back in. Yep. And any exhaust will also have to be sealed off to the wrap as well. Yes, you need to provide speakers, not just the flexi coming through. Corners are the hardest part to deal with, with in terms of air tightness. We are going to talk about some typical ways to deal with the external corner and the internal corner. For external corner, it is very easy and straightforward. All you need to do is apply the high tech plus tape, tape half onto one side, run the length and then flow it and then push it in. And that would create the airtight seal that you need. However, for the internal corner, it's a lot more difficult. In here, I do a short sample, it looks perfect, but it is purely because I'm only doing like a 50 mil length. Imagine if you need to do a whole three meter tape, push it in the corner and then pull out the, inter the release liner, which is virtually impossible to do it perfectly, nicely. The easier way to do whenever you got this kind of inward corner is to use caulking to seal with it, such as this Fuller Flex 620. Some of you may think, this is inside the cavity. Why do I need to do it smoothly, nicely? The reason behind that is a lot of the time, if we just squeeze the cork out of the gun at the corner, it may not be fully borne to both surfaces. 
If you use your spatula to push it in, to tool it nicely, you ensure it got the proper and correct bonding on both sides of the gap that you're trying to seal. For all builders and traders out there, the changes is very, very small. And if you need any further information, feel free to contact us and all these specialized products are available on our webshop, tighthouse.com.au.